students of Rossiter United, welcome back to Ancient Civilizations. We're at Chapter 1, Lesson 2, wrapping up Chapter 1 today, studying geography. Our main ideas today are to focus on the idea that uh, geography is the study of places and people, uh, that studying location is important to both physical and human geography, and that geography and history are very closely connected to each other. Geography studies places and people. We look at where people live, and then we look at how that place affects the people that live there. I've got some examples of types of places where people can live. What I want you to try to do is to try to match these places up with the kind of behaviors that those people might have. I'll let you pause here, play when you're ready to check. People that live near islands and coasts are pretty familiar with ocean features. They know how the ocean works because it's around them and they learn from the people that have come before them. And a lot of them can swim pretty well because the ocean is very close by. They have the chance to practice more. If you live in a mountain area, you have a higher elevation, it tends to snow more frequently. So you're used to those conditions. You probably have snow chains in a vehicle if you're ready. And your body is going to adjust to the differences in air. Air is usually thinner at those altitudes and your body can adjust to that. If you live in a rainy area, you're used to indoor activities because you don't really have much else option. If it's raining outside, there's really not a lot you can do outside. And you probably have your own rain gear. You're not going to have to run to the store to get an umbrella because chances are you have one ready to go. There's a couple of main parts of uh, geography. One is landforms. These are the natural features of the land surface. Things like mountains, valleys, plains, rock formations, hills, and cliffs. They are the features that make a land unique. And then we have the climate. These are the weather patterns over time. It could be warm or cold. You could be rainy or windy. If it's near water, we call that a maritime uh, climate. Uh, desert, rainforests. Landforms and climate are just a couple of parts of an area's environment. And the environment is described as the living and non-living things that make an area unique or one of a kind. Not just the scientific aspect of it, but anything that makes up an area and makes it special in a period of time is considered part of that environment. We break down locations as exact descriptions of where things are size of location types from largest to smallest. So let's break down our school from largest location to smallest. Continents located on North America. Region in the northern uh, region of North America. Country, the United States. State, California. City, Bakersfield. What part of East Bakersfield? I'd say, uh, yeah, the East Bakersfield region. Neighborhood. We're at the, uh, the, the Pioneer neighborhood. Street, we're on Pioneer Drive. Building, Voorhees Elementary School. And you can break that down to room as well. Bodies of water can be broken down into ocean, sea, lake, river, down to pond, the smallest. Let's start off with continents. Here's a map. Here are the seven continent names. Try to match the continent's name with the continent. Pause here and play to check. All right, here's Asia, North America, South America, Europe, Africa, Australia, and then Antarctica, which we're really not going to get a chance to study since there have not been any recorded ancient civilizations down there. But we'll see civilizations in all these other parts of the world. Now, regions are different because they have unique climates. Regions are things like Central America, or the Middle East, or Western Europe, or Eastern Africa. They have unique climates. They all share a certain type of landform. They have a larger population. We're talking hundreds of millions of people. Uh, the countries that are in that region share common values, or religions, or beliefs. And the populations speak a certain language. They all share a common tongue. They also have shared resources, materials that are found in the earth that people need and value. These are your basic types of resources, things like water, soil, metals, stones for tools and building, and plant life. Things that these people valued and used to grow their civilization. Okay, Friday we're going to have a quiz. You're looking at it right now. What you're going to need to do is tell me whether these statements are true or false. If they're false, you're going to need to give me a complete sentence as to why it is false. You're going to have to make it true. These are your questions. Study them well. Quiz it on Friday. I'll see you then.